Hello, hello. Welcome back to Let's Talk Ray Bradbury, the part of Let's Talk where I've been exploring in depth the works of Ray Bradbury. Today I want to do another short story review for you in the form of The Messiah, which appeared in 1976's Long After Midnight collection. Story begins almost as a joke. A priest, some ministers, and a rabbi are in a bar drinking, and they're talking about God. Uh, one of their um, topics of discussion is the common childhood fantasy of hey, what if I'm God? What if I'm the Messiah? So uh, they've come to Mars. Um, they are Martian colonists, and they came there not just in hope of uh, teaching to their congregation of humans, but also eventually meeting a Martian and converting them. Afterwards, um, Father Niven, one of the members of this group, he goes home, and uh, he'd heard casually in passing during the day that a Martian had been spotted in town and that the people should avoid him. But uh, he wakes from a dream, he hears a noise in his church, he goes downstairs, he checks it out, and he meets this Martian. Only this Martian is appearing in the form of God, and he's even bleeding from his hands as if at the crucifixion. Uh, the Martian basically tells him, you gotta let me, you gotta look away from me, let me go, because Martians take on the attributes of the mind of the person they are uh, coming into contact with, and Father Niven has God on the mind, and therefore he sees God um, basically on the verge of death. Eventually, Father Niven, he agrees to look away, but he makes the Martian promise to come back at this time once every year and be seen there in the church. And he lets the Martian go, and he uh, he regrets that it'll be a full year before he can see this again, and that he cannot tell anyone what transpired. Interesting little story. Um, draws, um, draws you in as a reader pretty quickly with these sort of heartfelt confessions by these people of different faiths talking about their deepest wishes as followers of God. Uh, but then uh, we go on to the encounter with the Martian by Father Niven. Um, his motives are not quite clear. Um, does he hope to um, have uh, this Martian Messiah appear yearly as a way to dupe his congregation into, um, into their beliefs? Or is it more of a selfish thing where... Um, as the story hinted at, at the beginning, you know, everybody's awaiting the return of God, and maybe this gives him sort of that moment of sorrow and ecstasy every year uh, where he can have his own sort of personal encounter with a type of God. Um, that's not entirely clear. But either way, I do love the concept of having missionaries on Mars um, in this universe. People um, went to Mars. They didn't think that the Martians existed. They didn't know they were around. Uh, but by the time they found that out, they'd already colonized. And now the Martians are out there, but they're um, rarely seen. And so you have these, these religious folk, these missionaries from Earth, who um, they want to spread their mission, uh, their story of God from you know, beyond Earth and then send it out into the stars um, to another race, which opens a lot of interesting questions. Um, you know, like, is the God of Earth, the God for everyone? Um, do Martians have souls? Do we have souls? Um, so uh, it's sort of that, that weird line between science and, uh, and, and religion and history and um, never quite knowing where our, um, where our knowledge and ignorance sort of um, diverge. Um, another reading of this, um, this would be the final point for this video, um, yeah, one thing it does seem to me, I'm not sure what the author is going for. Maybe he's going for the amb amb ambiguity um, because there are multiple interpretations. But one inter interpretation I had is that, um, to wrap this up, it seemed like um, in this story we created God and then we killed him. But now we're still waiting for his return, which is an interesting concept. Um, something to think about. And I will leave you with that. All right, guys, uh, this has been my quick talk and quick review on The Messiah from 1976, The Long After Midnight Collection by Ray Bradbury. Uh, been reading a lot of um, religion-based stories at this point in the collection, Bradbury's stories. Uh, um, the one I read the other day was called The Man, where a, um, 
a group of human um, astronauts are going to um, alien worlds and sort of um, um, uh, taking their resources, but they uh, they get beat to the punch by one day by a being who very much seems to be God, and then. Um, that poses the question, can you go out into space to find God, or do you have to go to within? Is that where heaven is? You know, so um, a lot of interesting questions. That is what makes Ray Bradbury so great. These stories can often seem very simple on the outside. Um, they can seem almost childish um, in their simplicity, uh, but then you get thinking about them, and he always sort of opens up some new avenues, so I like that. Anyhow, guys, uh, once again, thank you, and tune in soon. We'll do this again. See ya.